Happy New Year, everybody. And um, happy holidays. We have the championship coming up on January 21st, as um, all of you know. Oh, I should preference, as you guys came into the room, this is being recorded. Um, it will be posted on the YouTube channel, and so we will conduct this meeting as we would any other one, assuming that we get the anywhere from 40 to, well, more views uh, on the YouTube channel. Obviously, those that are present this evening will get the opportunity to ask any questions and, and have the discussion. So, uh, back to the championship. Yep, still is coming up on uh, Sunday, January 21st. Um, one item that I had heard, um, let's see, we had a uh, tournament director's call. Uh, yeah, when was it? I guess it was last week. Last uh, Thursday. Thursday. Yep, thank you. <laughs> Time, I'm, it's like I'm in a warp. Anyway, um, there was an issue apparently with the hotel reservations. And so uh, what I found out was that the rate we have, the, the quote unquote negotiated rate is at a discount. However, if you do search online, you might find a lower price because it is non-refundable and you oh, have guys. to pay for it right away. Whereas ours, you can cancel up to 24 hours and you don't have to pay for it at reservation. So again, different price points for different uh, services, I guess, or attributes. So uh, that was the one issue that was brought up about the championship last week. Um, otherwise, we are uh, moving forward. I was at Madison College today, solidifying all the rooms. Um, those of you that have been to the Madison Regional or last year's uh, championship, the judging rooms are going to be the exact same five. They're all big and uh, we'll have ample space for the kids, a table, and the parents will be sufficiently off to the side so that the uh, teams can do their thing. Um, let's see what else. Just a point of interest, we are also are going to have an Explore Festival that will also be um, split, meaning pits will be on the first floor, but in the kind of main hallway area. And then they're going to have two reviewing rooms upstairs, uh, relatively close to uh, where the challenge uh, judging rooms are going to be. So it's kind of exciting to have both events going on at the same time. Um, honestly, that's kind of all I had. Uh, and of course, opening up to other questions. Uh, the coaches that are participating know that I'll be sending out multiple emails over the next couple weeks. Um, rather than one or two really big emails, they'll be, you know, shorter focused with uh, specific attachments so that hopefully you can search your inbox for the specific subject. Um, Jay or Brian, any, any comments? No, I mean, from the standpoint from judging, it'll be done the uh, same as we did before, so. We had one question during the week, and actually Peggy's here, so I don't know if you saw my reply back to you guys, Peggy. Um, um, this is basically for everybody watching as well on uh, the experts and what happens if they fall apart um, in home, on the way home. What are you required to send back out? What are you, are you required to reassemble? Uh, stuff like that. So, um, Peggy, have you have not seen the reply back yet? Um, I talked to Eric about it, and I think that what we're going to settle in on is whatever comes home is what you send out, right? So, if it comes home in one piece, send it back out in one piece. If it comes home in two pieces, send it back out in two pieces. If one piece comes home, the other one doesn't, send what you have. So, you're not required to reassemble, but you're not allowed to take apart is basically what it comes down to. I think that's probably the easiest to explain and to implement everywhere. Comments, anyone? No, that's definitely, um, we, we need to implement some changes. So thank you for clarifying that. Okay. Well, thank you, Peggy, for bringing it up. So, I mean, the initial question started by, um, you know, there are other regions that do things differently. We are aware of that. We are extremely aware of that. We have asked for 
some sort of, there used to be a message board where referees and, and head refs could get together and kind of hash the stuff out on how everybody is viewing it and kind of get a general consensus. But that was um, eliminated a few years back and first kind of told us that we, they're not going to dive into edge case scenarios and they're not going to do a lot of updates. So region should figure it out. And um, so our figuring it out is uh, we're going to be the most lenient that we can um, according to the rules because we know that teams may not read into things and may not have the prior experience previous years to apply to current years. So however the rules read and whatever is most advantageous for the team, that's what we're going to do until updates come out. So if it comes back in two pieces, they have to leave it in two pieces or they can put it back together again and send it back out. No, you can, you can put it back together if you want. Okay. But if, but, but if it comes back in two pieces, we have to send both pieces back out or we just send out one or the other. Just uh, you, to confirm. Yeah. Send both. If, however, okay. come, in order to keep it, I mean, there are so many scenarios here, right? So how do we quantify this and how do we explain what we want them to do and what we don't. So I think the easiest thing to do is whatever comes home, that's what you send back out. You can always reassemble, right? Um, you just yeah. can't, you just can't take apart. No, that's fine. Uh, we just haven't been practicing reassembling broken ones in, in base. So it's, it's just yeah. wanted to get that explicitly clear in my mind. So I could, uh, we could practice that way. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's fine. That's great. If you want some of these guys, you know, um, you guys too, but some of these guys are so busy and so in there, rhythm here that if they you know they usually have something that doesn't break and then all of a sudden one time it does break it doesn't fit in their jig or you know whatever and they don't know what to do because they haven't practiced that situation so i think that's the the fairest way to do it and i do understand that um sending two pieces of an expert out and allowing either one to score i understand the situation that that creates but we really don't have any way around it Um, that's the only game stuff I have. Did anybody else have any questions about game? Or... All right. Well, while people are potentially thinking of questions, uh, I will remind everybody that Team 37513 Lego Lancers uh, will be having a book, uh, book drive to collect gently used books for... Um, a needy organization in the Milwaukee area. So I guess they did that at the sectional. They collected over a hundred books. And so they would like to do it again for the championship. And so that will be one of the emails that I will be sending out over the next few days or two weeks. Uh, also, thank you to those who sent in pictures. Um, our program is uh, <laughs> a lot more fun. So uh, we've got, I think, three or four pages of pictures in it. So thank you all for everybody that contributed. We went to the Smug Mug, so whoever reminded us of that. Uh, we got a lot of representation of a lot of teams, uh, so it, it looks really fun. Thank you. Speaking of, congratulations to uh, Build for making it in the uh, the kickoff reel for yeah, that was cool. We got that that little note, and it even had the little Wisconsin flag, so it was it was perfect. We got some good re uh, presentation there. And forgive my ignorance. What kickoff reel are we referring to? The FT FRC the, program? Yep, the FRC one. Yep. Yes, yeah, okay. it's a little program. Nice. Was that taken from Worlds, Jen? Yeah, it was. I think it was taken from um, the practice tables because it didn't look like we were on a real field. Gotcha. Craig, I did have a question um, just briefly. I know that um, some of us were planning to bring activities for the kids to do during the event. I know that I think Amy's bringing something for similar to what we did at our sectional. And then I was asked to bring um, puzzles for the kids to all put together. Um, I wasn't sure if you had a designated area at state that you wanted us to set that stuff up in or tables or locations identified uh -huh. already. Well, this is the first time hearing of this, so um, we can. There's plenty of tables 
Well, I shouldn't say plenty. There's a lot, but it, depending on how many uh, visitors, guests, and, and family members come, uh, the whole kind of lobby area of Madison College has tables where you can set anything up. If there's a lot of activities, we can designate a specific area. I don't have a problem doing that. Um, just need to know ahead of time. Okay. Now, um let if me just add you to our our group chat. <laughs> I thought I thought that you were aware. You may this might be uh, something new. So let me just add you to the group chat on Slack, and then we can figure out what we might need, and then you can put the kibosh on anything that you don't feel comfortable with. How about that? All right, fair enough. Okay, awesome. Thanks. It's in the same workspace, the FLL coaches. Yeah, but I think I think it might be a private chat. Uh, now no, that okay. I think about it. So I will I will add you to a new chat that has you on it. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, just so you're aware, the um, there is going to be the Alliance Challenge again. So I, I'm assuming you're referring to activity activities kind of throughout the day, as opposed to between the last robot run and the award ceremony. Right. These would be quieter activities than the um, the Alliance Challenge or or other things that we have going on. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, if you guys want me to, you know, carve out uh, how many tables do you need, we'll set up a space. Okay, um, let me add you to the chat and we'll kind of figure that out. Very good. All for those right. for those of us who haven't been there in the past, uh, what is the Alliance Challenge that you're talking about? What does that involve? Go for it, Jay. Well, it involves all kinds of craziness. So, <laughs> um, so after the official competition is over and we're waiting for the judges to deliberate, um, we do a, I guess, mini game, uh, a little mini competition where you're paired up with another team and um, it's a, an elimination type of mini tournament. And again, this doesn't have anything to do with the official tournament. This is completely separate and uh, you run both your robots at the same time the rules are very similar to what we have now there's a couple of little tweaks to make it uh, more user friendly for having two teams but um, yeah you're just paired up with another team you run your robots at the same time on the same board uh, same side and uh, craziness ensues very cool thanks yeah it's pretty good and that being said if you like it um, there's also what, uh, I don't know if you know Amy Hardy or not, but, um, she puts together the Robo Rumble every year and it's kind of the same type of format for the robot runs. Um, I think they do, if I remember right, um, all the programming is done on site there for, for the Robo Rumble, but that's not the case for the Alliance runs. You can use whatever you have on your robot, whatever you put together during leaning up to it, whatever, so. And when are Great, we thank you. announcing yeah. the pairings? Uh, right. Next Monday. So next okay. Monday on this call, uh, we do. So we do have the pairings. Uh, next Monday on this call, we will announce uh, the pairings, and you guys can choose to do whatever you want. I mean, you don't have to participate. You can contact your your uh, teammates and and try to work something out there if you want. You can do it all the day of. It's strictly up to you guys to organize how how you contact people we should put something together that being said craig we should put together something um uh maybe on the slack channel or something where teams participating can choose to leave their contact information because we can't technically give contact information from one team to the other so maybe like a sub channel for alliance partnerships so if you know uh, if they're uh, trying to meet up they can dm each other or something Okay. Did we create a channel for the Alliance Challenge? Does everybody have to then sign up for that channel? I can't remember how that works. Yeah, I mean, probably they'll have to sign up for the channel, but I'm just trying to eliminate, you know, like, you know how we, every tournament when we announce, we have teams saying, hey, can Nuggets of Knowledge contact me? We want to work out this. So we're going to have right. that again, and we're not supposed to give out. Right information for other teams so if they meet each other there that might be a you know, 
meeting place for them. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, well, let me well, think about this. But on the other hand, I can send an email out to all the coaches and asking them explicitly, can I share your contact info with your Alliance Challenge partner? You and then those that do... You certainly can if you want to take over the responsibility of it's only forwarding what, that information. 16? I was just trying to give everybody a common space to choose to meet yeah. each other or not. So, well, okay. So just to be clear, it is not an official part of the the, the championship program. It's not okay. scored. It is just 100% fun event. Um, there will be the rules and matching partners in the registration package, uh, which you'll obviously get when you register your team the day of, and then we'll try and communicate as much as we can yep. prior to. And, just, and you can choose to do anything with it, or you can choose to do nothing with it yep. until the day of. Uh, just the only slight correction there. It is scored, but only in the sense that it's scored for purposes of advancing in the mini game. So oh, it's okay. not scored as far as tournament doesn't count towards day. awards right 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 normal 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 tournament awards and scoring okay anybody else got anything all right going once twice so all right. Um, well, good luck to those participating uh, on the 21st. And of course, all coaches be on the lookout for emails coming from me because there are going to be quite a few of them over the next two weeks. And obviously, if you have any questions, concerns, needs, um, obviously, the sooner I know about it, the better off we'll be able to address them. So. Send them over. Now's the time. Do you have a deadline or did I miss you saying there was a deadline for um, schedule requirements? Did I miss you say that or no? Uh, I did not offer a deadline, um, but we are at the point or very close to the point of, you know, putting the schedule together. Right. Um, the coaches, I did get a handful of specific requests, which we should be able to honor. Um, but we're moving forward with uh, with what we have right now. And I forget how you put it before. So anybody watching the video here, um, I think Craig put it as it's a schedule requirement, not a request. How like it's we're not going to assign. I forget the verbiage you use. We're not going to assign you a spot just because you want a spot. There has to be a, re right. a need for it. It's need based. It has to pass the needs versus want threshold. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so thank you for respecting that, and and you know. Well, thank you. Okay, everyone. Uh, uh, we're having a call next week. Yeah, next week. Yes. As well. Okay. You will have, yep, one more. Oh, and I'll put one more pitch out. We talked about it earlier, the Robo Rumble. Uh, there still are spots available. Uh, $30 entry fee for what sounds like a really fun day. So um, right now we're at uh, six teams. I believe they want to get up to 16. So, uh, you know. It's a, it's a fun opportunity to keep the season going a little bit longer. So please consider it. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for showing up. Good night, everybody. And good luck on uh, the 21st for those participating. Yep. Good luck. Have fun. Bye, Peggy.